grew up in the church, um, in the Lutheran church, um, and I was in and out of churches my whole life, um, and uh, uh, my mom and dad are divorced <clears throat> since I was little, so I've been jumping back and forth um, from my mom and dad my whole life, so I never really had a stable family, um, so I guess my anchoring to find and cling to something that was true was always inside. <clears throat> so I went to church because my mom went to church and my dad didn't want, have, ha didn't want to have anything to do with the church, didn't talk about it, just found out recently from witnessing to him that he actually um, was a Lutheran at one point and then left the church. So, but, uh, so yeah, I didn't know that. Um, and I'm 33, and that was just a few months ago. Um, so, speeding up to a year ago, um, my mom had grown up and she had turned me on to Joel Osteen and Joyce Meyer, all the false teachers at the time that I didn't know about were false teachers. I thought they were good, sound people. And uh, I thought that, man, it would be cool to go into that auditorium where Joel Osteen's at. It's huge. So many people there. So, um, I was not at the church. Like I said, I was in and out of churches, but I was not at the church at the time. But uh, if you were to ask me if I was a Christian, I would have told you that I was a Christian. I didn't know anything about the Bible. I couldn't tell you about Jesus. I, had, I didn't know about anything, but I would have said I was a Christian. So, um, so, so I was dating a girl at the time, and... Um, she had brought me back to the non-denominational non church that um, I was in before I found Cornerstone. Um, and so she she brought me back into the church, and um, you know, and I was basically just seeking her. I wasn't seeking anything else. Um, but I was trying to abide by like kind of her rules for being a Christian, like how. You know, we couldn't do hardly anything, so, but, you know, I, I should have known I was a Christian, so, but I didn't. Um, so, she, to me, she, she seemed to be, in a sense, holy, as we we're called to be when we we're Christians. Um, so she had turned me on to videos from Stephen Furtick and T.D. Jakes and all them. So I was watching all them, um, thinking that they were good, too. I mean, uh, I was standing up, praying, crying to the TV, thinking that this is all, this is great. Um, and, you know, this is the way it's supposed to be. And it, little did I know, it, it was nothing like that. Um... <clears throat> So we had split up, and and then a while later, um, when I was on a job, promotional, I'm a handyman. <laughs> um, so when I was on a job, um, I have a lot of time to listen to YouTube, so I used to watch Joel Osteen and Joyce Meyer. Joyce Meyer had me weeping because of all the good things that she'd been doing uh, for all the children in other countries. And um, I had, um, so I had been listening to all them, and uh, a, um, a Ray Comfort video had crept up into my uh, lineup. I had no idea who Ray Comfort was. Of course, I wasn't listening. It was just auto-playing. And the shock to my ears after I heard, uh, after like 10 seconds of Ray Comfort, I was like, I ripped the earbuds out of my ear because I didn't know what it was. I thought this, you know, I, I didn't know what it. I didn't know what it was called. So um, I was very convicted um, because he takes you through the law. Um, he takes you through the commandments. Um, you know, have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? You know, have you ever lusted? And I'm going yes, yes, yes. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. So. Um, I felt very 
he could be, uh, people would say that he's very, um, uh, he's very, he's very straight to the point, like, he'll cut you up. And, um, some people don't like that because they're hiding their sin. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I didn't listen to him for the rest of the day. <laughs> I listened to the other, uh, preachers and pastors who I was listening to. So, the next day, um, my curiosity kicked in, and I listened to another Ray Comfort sermon, and, um, and I actually was like, I've been living a lie. I thought I was a Christian, um, I'm doing all these things, living like the world, and, um, I'm glad I'm not dead, because I'd be in hell. So, um, to grace be to God only. Um, Amen. And, um, so, so after listening to Ray, um, I, I, I wanted to listen to him more and more, and so I listened to him some more, and, um, I listened to more videos, and so I was like, I need to repent and trust in Christ alone for my salvation, because there's no other way. I can't uh, do enough to get into heaven. Um, just after learning that the Lutherans kind of believe, maybe sort of in works, but um, I guess I could see that, because that's kind of maybe how I was believing. Yeah, that'd be good enough to get to heaven. I, I would have said I was a good person, all that, all that stuff. And um, I wasn't. So, um, after listening to Ray, and I found Answers in Genesis, um, Wretched Radio, Justin Peters, Paul Washer, Bodie Bauckham. And um, so, um, I just, I, I, I repented and, and put my trust in Christ. It, what little that I knew, I didn't know anything. Um, but I just knew that's what I needed to do. And each one of those guys would reference each other. And um, so I had called up, I had donated some money to these to these guys, Wretched Radio and all them, Answers Genesis. And um, one of the guys from Wretched Radio, Al Yerkes, he's actually going to be at the wedding when we have a wedding at Corso. Nice ice uh, breaker there, too. Um, so... He called me up, and um, we played phone tag for a little while, and finally I was able to get a hold of him, and um, completely blew me away uh, because he was completely different compared to everybody else who I thought was a Christian. Um, loving, caring, um, wasn't afraid to point out sin, to talk about sin, um, and I talked to him for about an hour and a half, <laughs> sitting in the parking lot in public, um, and he had given me all these guys who I referenced to watch, and um, so it was a it was a process through uh, worship songs that we found out that we were in. Uh, I don't know if it would be a false church or not, but um, it wasn't right. And we found out. I thought it was great when we were there. I thought this is the church. The, the pastor was supposed to be preaching the word. He's saved and all this stuff. And um, they found out through worship music that um, we, we just can't worship God any way we please and think that he's hearing us and, and all this stuff. So, um, <clears throat> so um, I had been... So now I'm buddies with um, Al Yerkes, and, and I haven't talked to him in a little bit because I've been super busy. But um, I need to I need to reach out to him because he's he I tell I tell him thank you for for everything, but he he's like this is not me, it's it's the Lord. So um, so and I had sent uh, Summer's mom when I was listening to before I heard Ray Comfort, I was sending Summer's mom, my mom. And all the Joyce Meyer stuff. I was thinking, oh, this is great. You should listen to it. And um, you know, after hearing uh, Justin Peters, um, she had he had referenced um, Susan Heck, who was just at Cornerstone. 
Um, and so I started sending them Susan Heck when I found her out. And um, so I'm like, well, now that I know the truth, uh, let me, I want to listen to her and see, you know, uh, how good she actually is. And I was blown away by um, her teaching. And um, so I, I, I prayed that they would listen to him as I was um, beating myself up because I'm like, they're probably not going to listen to anything I want to send them because they, they, they probably already know that Joyce Meyer is false. Um, so um, I had noticed that um, in the background, you know, when you listen to YouTube videos, um, they're, they could be just videos of, you know, words playing on the screen, a blank screen, and all that stuff, and um, you could see nothing but hear their voice. So, and it just so happens that um, I had watched the video that she was actually at the pulpit where Pastor Mark preaches, and um, I was watching that. And after a couple of videos of watching that, I'm like, well, this is, she's at the same place. I wonder where she's at. So I looked down at the YouTube thing, and it says Cornerstone Baptist Church of ORL. And I'm like, ORL? What's, what's this? So, um, so I want to know what the rest of it is, my curiosity. So I, looked, I clicked on it, and it said um, Orlando. I'm like, Orlando, this is weird. She's here? So, um... So I looked up, at this point in time, I'm like, I, if they're going to have this lady here, then they have to be at least good themselves. So um, I looked up um, Cornerstone, and in, in the time process of we were, when we were trying to um, find a church, um, Al had given us founders.org to try to find a church in our area. Well, there were two churches, and... One of them said, I don't even know why we're on there. So, and we're like, okay. <laughs> so, and then um, the other one, I don't even think we can get a hold of. And our realtor was like, why don't you come to our church? It's a Methodist church. I'm like, no. Um, so, we called anyways. And um, the guy didn't even know what song was playing there. So, we were like, well, that's out. So, um... And um, so, and we and we were reading test, uh, statements of faith and all that, and um, so, and, and everybody's statement of faith sounded like they were sent from heaven above, like they were the best church that you could get here anywhere. And we read Cornerstone's statement of faith. I was like, yeah, that's what everybody says. So, and um, so I'm like, the only way I'm gonna know is I'm gonna, I have to watch a video. And the first video I pull up is Pastor Mark, and within 30 seconds, my jaw hit the floor, and I'm like, I've heard more of he heaven, or hell, sin, death, and all that stuff, and, and I said, we need to, we need to go here. So this is, this is where we need to be, because at the last church I was at, um, we were at, we didn't hear any of that. Um, it was all about, raise your hand if you had a bad week or, you know, just very, very terrible, very damning church to be in, um, and I thought it was good, <laughs> so, um, so I go to summer, and in summer we, uh, I have some good news and I got some bad news, <laughs> so she's like, what's the, what's the bad news? I said, well, I found a church in Orlando, and she's like, well, I figured we had to go to Orlando, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> So I'm like, all right, we got to go. And uh, <clears throat> so so um, we went and um, we heard the sermon, and it was something that I've never heard of before, um, something to where you would I never heard of a call to repentance, I never heard of group, I've never heard of any any of this stuff that should go on in the church. I just thought that you went to church on Sunday and that was your your time. That was that was it. That's all you do. 
how little I knew. And I was a Christian, so I thought. Um, so, there's no other way I would have found Cornerstone besides the Lord um, and Him directing me. We're from Melbourne, about an hour away, and um, after we started coming to Cornerstone, it was, well, it was kind of love at first sight, and, uh, but uh, we can't miss. I, my life after conversion is I, I love and I want to please the Lord and I want to be obedient, and, and He calls us to be holy. Um, and some people who I talk to in my family, they would say that it would be a burden to follow the Lord. And hearing that makes me cringe. Um, and knowing that I don't think they're saved, but but they claim to be a Christian as well, and they were they raised me. So that's where I got my theology. Um, So, the Lord alone deserves all the grace, and or gives the grace, and He, he deserves all the glory. Um, it wasn't me that found this church, but it, it, it was the Lord giving me grace and, and guidance to find uh, the church that, I'm in, that we're in now. Um, but it, you know, I don't know if we would ever found one. Um, and I just thank everyone that is here, and that has helped me in my walk and with the Lord, especially Karen, um, coming up to summer and talking with her initially, setting it all up, I guess. Um, <laughs> the Lord using her and using everybody. Because um, we were we were going in uh, like deer in headlights, because this is this was all news news to us. Um, and Brother Chase uh, hunting us down and, <laughs> and uh, just being loving and being how he's called to be. Um, so I just, I thank everybody that uh, was a part of our walk and bringing us in and, and loving us and, and actually loving us correctly instead of falsely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Um, like everyone else says, I probably could go on for longer talking about other things, but um, like everyone else says, all praise and honor and glory goes to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior only, in Him alone can we be saved, not by our good works. Derek, we are uh, grateful to be here today. We praise God for your salvation and this opportunity to baptize you. And based upon your evident faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, having turned from your sins, put your faith in Him for salvation, and based upon your commitment to follow Him as a member of Cornerstone Baptist Church, we baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Him in baptism and raised to new.